Hey guys, we're talking sentimental items. Now, this is a hard, hard topic. I wanna talk about this because everybody has sentimental items in their life and everybody knows the guilt that comes with getting rid of a sentimental item. This could be an item from your childhood that you've held on to forever. This could be something that your mom passed down to you or your grandma passed down to you. It could be something from your husband. It could be something from your sister, your brother. It could be anything, your kids. I just want to let you know that if it's not serving a purpose in your home today, it needs to go. If you're putting it in an attic and storing it away, it is collecting dust and you are not respecting that item. You are not giving it the life it deserves. And I know that sounds really harsh, but it's true. I think so many times we just hold on to things um, thinking we're going to pass it all down to our kids someday. And yes, we might pass a few things down, but we're not going to pass all of it down. And chances are they're not going to want the item. So I just want to start off just by ripping the band-aid off and saying there are certain sentimental items that you have to keep, whether it be you know, a small keepsake box for your kids or something that is extremely, extremely valuable to you from somebody who passed away or just something that you know you have to keep in your family. We all have those items, but we also all have the excess clutter of sentimental items that we don't necessarily need. Um, and I think it's super natural for everybody to attach memories to objects. And like I said at the beginning, if you're not using those objects, if you're not displaying them in your home, or if you're not actively wearing the item or using it, I think you're doing the item a disservice personally. I think somebody else could be using it or, you know, something, it could be somewhere else outside of your space. And I think the hardest part with sentimental items is just getting past like the guilt of passing it on to somebody else, or if it's just broken, trashing it. And I think, um, that's the hardest part with this, especially if you have a lot of sentimental items to go through. So in this section, I urge you to just go slow, but also know like your space is super valuable to you and what everything in your space, it's taking a little bit of your energy away. So if it's not something that you know wholeheartedly, like this I have to keep, this is in my space and I'm passing it down to my kids and this is something that is gonna go with us forever, wherever we go. If you're not feeling like that, I would say, please pass it on. Um, for me, an example, I have um, a keepsake box for my kids. I have their going home outfits from the hospital and their hospital stuff, their baby books. I have that put away because I want to give that to them someday for when they have kids, they can look back and they can say, here's my baby book for my first year and here is my going home outfit. I think that's special. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to keep all of their clothes, like their first pair of shoes and their, their little outfit I loved. I'm not going to do that because, A, my kids are kind of hard on their clothes and they're really worn out when we give them, um, when we pass them on. And so we're just going to keep the core items, which is their going home hospital outfit and their baby book and maybe a few other things, obviously from their childhood. We're not through their childhood yet, but we have a small box for them. Um... And then I have a, a few things for my mom we're keeping. My mom gave me her pregnancy journal that has everything written from when she was pregnant with me. And I think that is so special. I would never get rid of that. I would keep that forever and ever. And um, that's going in a special box. And we're going to preserve it the best that we can. It's not going to be in our garage. I don't want it collecting dust. Um, I'm going to take care of that item. So, um, you know, and that's even something that we might display in our bookshelf because I think that's just so, so valuable to a family. So go at it with that mindset. Like, you don't have to keep everything that you're given, um, especially, especially if you feel like your kids are not going to want the items. Don't keep them for the some days. Really go through in your heart and try to, try to weed out items as best as you can. Um, and if it's something, if you're dealing with a loved one that's passed away, that is excruciatingly hard. And I know that, um, I don't, I really want to go at this like tenderly with you because I can't imagine like having to go through, you know, all of that stuff. It's very difficult. So go at it at your own pace. Keep a small box of their stuff that you love that always reminds them of you or reminds you of them, and um, and then give the rest of it to somebody who might use it and who might honor that person by wearing their clothes or, you know, using that baseball mitt, whatever it is. If you have kids, keep it for them. But um, my point in that is just take it at your own pace. 
but also really protect your space and know like what items are your musts and what items are kind of on the fence. And if those items are on the fence, I want you to get rid of them. So good luck with this section. Take it at your own rate. And um, just because you're going through your sentimental items does not mean you're heartless. It does not mean you have no emotion. It does not mean any of that. It just means you are valuing your personal space. You're here and now. This is all we're given. We're we are in this moment. This is what who we are, and this is what we're given. We don't have tomorrow promised to us. The past is gone, so this is where we need to live. And um, as hard as it is, kind of cold as that sounds, um, it will really help you moving forward to weed out some of those items. So good luck, and if you have any questions or need inspiration or need just like a helping hand or some motivation, just let me know, and I can be that for you. All right, see you later.